I will present last part of second training session of cylinder water jacket in ABL file. I will show the post-processing part in Impress 2. Let me introduce myself. My name is Denis Straub and I'm analysis and support engineer from Maribor Slovenian office. I'm responsible for testing software, validation and verification, also customer support. I'll start at Impress 2 benefits. The post processor tool has many features and plenty possibilities how to present results from combined charts in 3D post processing. Also possible to generate interactive and template based post processing. Many different output formats are included in tool and script based output generation. The workflow is known. After simulation is finished, we can open the tab results and load results from project folder. Topology based post processing from flow visualization and value monitoring with different cut views, charts, line par pi polar bars to 3D post processing capabilities. Depending on demands, we can compare results from different projects cases, case sets, like compare multi-case simulation, the principal setup for one and, and later use for all, as mentioned template with defining cuts, plots and streamlines. Now we switch to live demo. Now start with live demo. So in result tab we can open the project in the result browser. We select them and open. The case is loaded in the result browser. While the case is loaded in the result browser, we can display the results from 3D results, 2D results and also monitoring. We can select them manually to display them for, for the user once. Now we will create a cut from flow temperature. So we can open 3D Viewer and then the, the right mouse button open selection in XCut. The cut is generated inside of 3D Viewer. We have multiple possibilities to rotate, zoom home around the axis. We can prescribe the, the angle of rotation and then positioning the cut inside of the viewer. So the next step when we activate the cut inside of the report tree we can move the cut towards to wished location by transform handles. The next pos possibility is control handles for selected object. We can move then the cut inside of the geometry so then we can update the 3D results inside of the domain. We can also move the cut to the specific location inside of the viewer. We will open the property pane window inside of the report tree. It can be opened with double click with left mouse button or right click on the mouse. We have possibility to change the step of simulation, also the range we can set to custom range and also the quantity can be changed from property window. There are also plenty other possibilities. In selection window we can select on which domain we will show the results. Now I will select the cylinder head domain to prescribe the, tr the results on the XCAD. Also we can select the water cooling jacket. The results are updated automatically. We can also show the faces or the boarding box. The 3D output is always updated automatically. Now we will deselect the water cooling jacket and cylinder head domain and now activate it back again the whole domain. The 
we can also put another cut view inside of the one page on 3D Viewer. We have plenty possibility from colored surface to X cut, Y cut, watch through. Now we can see double cut view inside of the one window. We can prescribe on one the velocity field, on other temperature. It really depends on the user. We can see the vectors inside of the water cooling jacket. But let me go further. We can add also the page in the ribbon bar, add the page sets. So we add now the page 2. Let's perform new cut in 3D Viewer. We will add the flow velocity field in Y cut. The intention is to show on this cut view the vectors and also the polyhedral mesh behind of the cut view. We will activate the cut and move towards to the specific location that we can show the vectors. So for vectors we just enabled in the property pane window and in the transformation have many possibility to change the different shape of the vectors and also the, the quantity. So we can select the uniform size of the vectors and the length of the vector. Also this distribution can be changed to 5000 and the ratio on one. We will see how the scaling of vector will change. We prescribe more vectors inside of the water cooling jacket. Now we can also import the external dat data. So we will select the polyhedral mesh which are meshed before. Now we just select the mesh and show it in 3D Viewer. The mesh will be loaded inside 3D Viewer. Let's load the mesh as watch through. The mesh is loaded but it's not on the right position. We can change the position in coordinate system. So we can change the normal vector from 0 to minus 1, 0. And also the offset. We can see the positioning to corresponding place. On third page I will show how to prescribe velocity vectors on water cooling jacket surface cut with poly mesh beside. The poly mesh is loaded and we will load the velocity field with colored surface. By default is always loaded for all domains. So now we'll dis we will deselect this, the all domains and we will activate only the water cooling jacket domain. That we can perform results on a just of water cooling jacket flow velocity field. Let's also use transparency in this view to see more clearly the vectors. Also in that case we will activate the uniform length of the vectors. We can also apply a transparency on a poly mesh. We can change also the color on a poly mesh. Now we will close the property pane window and we will add a new page and we will show the 2D results. We add line chart and then just we try the mouse button, open selection and add line chart 1. We will see all the mean temperature of each domain presented in a 2D graph. We can zoom in and zoom out. We have also possibility to change a color, change a title to custom, change the width of the line. In data tab we can find location of project and the names of case sets. For presenting two cuts charts in one page we can split window horizontally and add new chart to window. We can load results just from one material. There are some templates which are already defined. Also user can define by itself. In ribbon bar of Impress 2 
we have view options and export options for printing on paper and also to export in any different format. Additional button is page viewer mode which shows us corresponding shape of report document. We will add page 5 for showing how to create streamlines and surface cut in one page. Open 3D Viewer and load 3D results from temperature with watch through switch. This plate mesh is cut on half. We will adapt the cutting plane by pulling toggle switch. Now load second quantity for velocity streamlines. After streamlines were loaded, we shall change representing settings for streamlines in water cooling jacket. But before that, I will deactivate the mesh to see more clearly transformation of streamlines. Now we switch to processing tab in property of streamlines. Beside that tab, we can change property of, of streamlines for denser tubes in a viewer. We will change just maximum number of points to 70. Now we activate mesh back, change a bit of transparency. This presents streamlines for velocity, filled in water cooling jacket with temperature gradient on solid domains. And on the last page 6 I will show how to create animation in XCAD of flow temperature. Let's repeat procedure for generating XCAD in 3D viewer. Let's zoom in the cut of cylinder water jacket. The animation window is located in ribbon bar. We have few buttons for playing videos without recording directly in ribbon bar. But for setting more attributes I will open animation window. Here are the basic functions for playing, pause, loop, ping pong and repeat function. Current value which is shown can be changed with toggle switch. We can save results as pictures or 3D PDF or MPG video format. After we select desired format, just check the value for steps per second and perform the start recording. The movie is saved to specific location. It can be run in Windows Media Player. With this slide I will end my presentation of post-processing in Impress tool, which is state-of-the-art 3D post-processing tool, scalable solution to support massive data handling and also various approaches for different types of problems. I would like to thank you for your attention.